Hey Zach, this is Mr. Kaslin. Um, last time we met, there was a, a topic on point symmetry. I just wanted to make sure I give you a quick, accurate description of um, point symmetry. I think I've narrowed it down to something that kind of just will be quick and simple. When you're dealing with point symmetry, really the, way, the best way to think about it is if it's got point symmetry, what you're going to do is you're going to turn it upside down or more accurately rotate it 180 degrees and see if it looks exactly the same. All right, let's take a couple examples here. All right, so what we're trying to do is determine if this line C has point symmetry. So think about rotating it 180 degrees. All right, then you get your, what's called C prime, your, your new image. And notice that if you rotate 180 degrees, that line will look exactly the same. Okay, so this line C has um, point symmetry. What if we did it with uh, if we did it with line A? We rotated line A 180 degrees. Line A would also have point symmetry because it would look exactly look exactly the same. Okay, so there's lots of definitions out there, but I think that's the just the quick, quickest way to think about it. Um, let's look at these two playing cards. One of these has point symmetry and one of these doesn't. I'll let you think about that for a second. Okay, so let's look at this five. If we took this, think about taking this playing card and flipping it all the way, flipping it all the way around. Okay, see how this five would end up over here, and that would look exactly the same. These two clubs would look exactly the same on top. But when you flipped it around, this club in the middle would be upside down based on where it is right now. So this one does not have point symmetry. This card over here, the two of spades, if you flip this card upside down, 180 degrees, you don't have that spade in the middle. so. This spade be pointing up, this spade would be pointing down, this card would look exactly the same. This one has point symmetry. All right, let's see, uh, let's see what else we got here. I've seen some problems where they actually use words. They're actually asking the question, does this word math have point symmetry? All right, so let's flip this. If you flip this 180 degrees, it would look like, I believe it would look like this. H, T, the A would look like that. Sorry, I can't write very well with a mouse. <laughs> and the M would look like a W. So I think if you flip this 180 degrees, it's going to look like this. This does not have point symmetry. All right, what about the word noon? We're going to flip the word noon 180 degrees. Guess what? I, th I believe if you flip the word 180 the word noon, 180 degrees, it's still gonna look like the word noon. So this one does have point symmetry. Okay, so if you haven't finished up that module yet and you get questions on point symmetry, I hope this helps. We will talk to you soon.